Hey, thanks for staying with us. Things have cleared up this evening. It's really turned into a pretty nice evening. Still a little bit chilly outside. Storm Track 8 Chief Neurologist Jesse Gwynn is here as he tracks what's coming tomorrow, which is really another nice spring day. Yeah, very nice. We're going to talk uh, pretty average temperatures for this time of the year and some sunshine. All right, we Which like we that. need. We deserve some sunshine. It's been cloudy and gross, it feels like, forever. Yeah, and we're going to need to hang on to that sunshine and really enjoy it because the eight-day, good chunk of it, not looking so yeah. great. Yeah. Let's uh, break down storm track. we got to start there because we do have just a couple of uh, sprinkles still lingering around. And uh, notice how those are primarily to the north and eastern parts of the state, Fort Wayne northward. And we're talking about just a couple of those lingering on the backside of this uh, system. And uh, even some of those coming down uh, pretty steady. Now, as temperatures drop, I would not be surprised over uh, the uh, next couple of hours. These are going to continue moving out, but in some far north and eastern parts of the state, maybe even a couple of uh, uh, brief uh, snowflakes mixing in right there. Here's the deal. couple of systems right here impacting the Great Lakes region. And, of course, well, the more southerly one, just the northern part of the state into uh, southern Michigan. That has been what's brought us those showers, those light showers today. High pressure now is what we'll turn to looking toward, which means sunshine on tap for your Sunday. Meanwhile, outside, still seeing just a little bit of a breeze, shaking the camera right there from our studios as we look northward. 42 and uh, continuing to see just a few of those clouds lingering around uh, across the states. And um, those breezes I mentioned statewide, notice how still seeing just a little bit of that, but that will quiet down as we go through the next couple of hours as we uh, continue to see this system move out of the state. Also, temperature-wise, going to see those drop down just a smidge, but not too cold of a night across the area. Most of us dropping into the 30s. We're mostly in the 40s right now. It's 42 in Indy, 36 in South Bend, 45 in French Lake. Overnight, again, some 30s on tap, but not bad at all. And again, those breezes quiet down, so we've got that going for us as well. Overnight, continuing to see that clearing, as I mentioned, on the backside of that system. It gets on out of here by the wake-up call on Sunday. Sunday morning, notice how well, continuing to see some sunshine take over. Some north and eastern parts of the state will see some of that lingering cloud cover, but we'll go mostly sunny overall on the day as we continue to see more of that sunshine take over for your Sunday. Overnight tonight again, 36, that overnight low in the metro area, breezy with the showers ending. Statewide, we'll talk about those numbers into the mid-30s for most of us. Yeah, most of us either at or above that freezing point as we go overnight into tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow, north of I-70, 50s, southward, 60s, 57 in Circle City, 60 in Bloomington, 54 in Kokomo for the high temperature for tomorrow. Yeah, again, mostly sunny skies going to be very nice, a dry day. And that is something we're going to have to hang on to because look at this. Come Monday into Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, several weather makers going to impact us and bring us some rain. Nothing too heavy in nature, but certainly some continual rain uh, will eventually start to really saturate that soil out there more than it already is. Notice how as we go through uh, Monday, there you see that chance will go scattered in nature. But especially come Tuesday and Wednesday, I think as of right now, that's our best chance for those systems to move through and cause some rain across the area. And again, some of that could be more on the moderate side at times. We'll continue to track that for you. Peterman Brothers Heating and Cooling 8 day looks like this. Notice how temperature wise, not bad. We do see a string of 60s for the first three days of the work week. But again, we'll have to deal with that pesky rain as we get toward the weekend. Next weekend, yeah, we see some drier conditions coming around, which is good news because several Indians games going to be uh, taking place. But uh, at least we'll have those dry conditions. But uh, not for that one on Tuesday. Yeah, that uh, rain going to be here first to middle part of the work week, guys.